Drupal 8 with Acquia Lightning gives us a whole new way to manage the workflow of our content. With Lightning, we can define states for our nodes and assign those to a different bundle with complete control over the workflow. We have a complete revision history. We can now bulk schedule updates. So if say 10 nodes need to be published at a certain date and time, we can now schedule that and not actually log into the site at the moment we need those things to either be published or unpublished. As well, we have a brand new system for previewing new versions so that you can create new versions of nodes and then schedule them to go live whenever you want. So this is pretty exciting. Let's dive in to a quick demo. All right, so when we add content, you'll notice out of the box, we have three states. We have draft, needs review, and published. There's also a fourth one called archived, but of course that's not available when we are creating a new node. Let's go ahead and set up a brand new moderation state. Click on configuration and down here under workbench moderation and moderation states you'll see we have the four that I mentioned. Let's add a moderation state. This is really simple. We're going to call this needs legal review. We're not going to select it as published because if we chose it, then it would automatically publish the content and we're not going to make it the default revision. This is going to be a step between draft and published. Let's go ahead and click save and you'll see that we have needs legal review. Well, the next thing we need to do then is to determine the transitions that these states have. So we need to set up two transitions, one from draft to needs legal review, and then once it's been reviewed to published. Let's add a moderation state then. So the first state we need to add, of course, is sending it from draft to legal. So let's say needs legal review, and we'll move it from draft to needs legal review, and click save. Let's add one more. We're going to call this legal approved. And this is going to go from needs legal review to published. And to keep it simple, we're only going to allow it to go to published once legal has reviewed it. You could obviously have other transition steps in here. I'm going to click save. Now we need to actually assign these new transitions to a bundle. So I'm going to head over to structure, content types, and let's add that to the basic page. So I'm going to manage moderation and I'm going to allow the needs legal review state. I'm going to leave the moderation state at draft and click save. So let's go ahead and add a basic page. And I'm just going to call this my new basic page. Leave it in draft mode and add some content and I'll click save. So my new basic page is in draft mode. I'm going to come along and I'm going to assume that I have permission to do this. I'm going to change it to needs legal review. Once again, click save. You'll notice it's still not published, but now let's assume I'm the legal guy and I'm going to review it. I'm going to edit the draft and you'll notice that the only state I can go to from needs legal review is published because we didn't set up another transition. Again, something to plan for, something to think through, but in this case, it's doing exactly what we said we wanted it to do. I've reviewed it and now I'm going to click save as the legal reviewer and you'll see that my new basic page is indeed published. When I'm in an incognito window, there's my new basic page all published. So that's the updated moderation states in Lightning. You'll also notice here, I have a revisions tab. Let's take a quick peek at that. The revisions tab gives us the complete history of a node, as well as the obvious ability to revert to an old version of it. If I click on it, I can see the old version. And of course, I can also see the changes that were made and by whom. This is gonna be, again, really helpful, especially because it reflects these moderation states. One of the great new features, again, of Lightning is scheduled updates. So I'm going to add a scheduled update and just type in that basic page that I just created. And I'm going to add another item here. We'll get the iPad update reference guide. And I'm going to update it right now on the screen. As you can see, it's the 15th of December. Let's go ahead and do 
12.15 at 10.30 a.m. And I'm going to just simply push those back to draft mode so that they'll disappear off my site. Again, you can do this with any number of nodes at the same time. So now, in about five minutes, those two nodes will go to draft mode. You can also schedule an update from right within the node itself. In other words, you can publish or unpublish nodes at any given time. So I can set this to publish at an upcoming date, which is really, really handy. If I have an event or an activity going on and I don't want a particular node to be published until a particular time, well, now I can do it. I can also, of course, unpublish at a particular time. So Drupal 8 with Lightning gives me complete control over when my content will appear on my site. Part of why this is so exciting is because not only can I publish and unpublish at a particular date, I can also create changes to a node and then schedule them to publish at a different time. So I'm going to go into Acquia Goes to Canada and I'm going to create a draft and click Save. And that brings me into the ability to manage the content. Now, just because I clicked draft doesn't mean my node has changed. As you can see from the incognito window here, it's still displaying the published version of my content. But when I click on latest version, I can now manage the content. So I'm just going to change the layout. Let's just change it to three columns, three column 25, 50, and 25. Let's add some content to the third region over here. And I'm just going to throw in a custom block here. And we'll put it in third and click add. So now you'll see we've got a brand new version of our node ready to go. I'm going to click save. But let's just check our node is still published with the two column version. And I can either schedule it to update at a particular time or I can move it to published. Now my node has three columns and looking at it in the incognito window, you'll see that the content has been updated. So a few options there. You can edit your content, changing the entire layout, look and feel of a particular node. You can leave it in draft mode. Meanwhile, the published version will still be available to your visitors. And then you can publish it manually like I did or do a scheduled bulk update. Well, that's the overview of the workflow in Drupal 8 with Lightning. <music>